Hi, I'm Lana Smith and uh, welcome to my series uh, Learning Piano and uh, uh, today we'll talk about practice. How to practice? Um, well, apparently every piano teacher can tell right away if student practiced or not because you can hear it. If you stumble through the piece and you have gaps and you have wrong keys and wrong um, playing wrong keys and playing wrong fingering it's obvious you didn't practice but what to do with a student who really practice uh, practiced his or her piece and spend a lot of time doing it and is still not doing any good so it tells me that you probably don't know how to practice and uh, let's say in Russia a long time ago I had a student who was really really good player um, high level Mm, but she always comes to me and says, like, Lana, I spent hours practicing that little piece and it's always wrong, it's always wrong and I just don't know what to do. I keep playing and always making a mistake. Here's a key word in this phrase, always. So, if you're always playing this piece wrong, you have a finger memory and whatever you're playing wrong, your fingers remember. Whatever path you're walking through, fingers remember. So if you're playing, go, go, whoops, I made a mistake, and fix. Okay, start all over, start playing, playing, whoops, made mistake, and fix. Guess what your fingers remember? Go, 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 make oops, and then fix. <laughs> exactly what you're doing. So, I would suggest you, when you practice your piece, take that little trouble spot, which every music piece will have something harder than the other parts. Take just that little spot and start practicing it really slowly and treat it like um, as if you're going on the minefield. You're going through the minefield, you're not rushing through it, okay? Because you be really watching every step to not stop a step on the wrong place. Same thing here. When you come to that mistake, first of all, verify if your fingering is right. And do it as slow as possible. I know some people who play in uh, their little trouble spot and they get frustrated and play them faster and faster and faster and guess what? Is it improving? No. So you need to do it as slow as possible. So I hope you understand how you're supposed to treat your uh, practicing the hard spots, uh, spots that give you troubles. Uh, so take it really slowly, take it very cautiously Playing every note instead of speeding up and getting frustrated, slow down and make it work without any mistakes. So a good practice is to play this spot at least seven times without any mistakes at all. So if your play is corrupt, don't count it. And don't let yourself to step on a mine and blow up yourself. So, <laughs> um, and welcome to my series about uh, how to practice. We'll have uh, another movie where we'll address the um, structure of practicing.